Tanzas Inlet. I'm going to fish under the bridge here. We got low tide. My car's parked in a spot where I got to move it before the tide moves too much. So I'm gonna feel, we probably got a couple hours for fishing. And I've got a keen pole. So thanks for joining this episode of Freedom Fishing, guys. Let's get it. All right, brought up bamboo pole. This is a cheap $5 bamboo pole from Sports Authority. I've got 20 pound fluorocarbon line on the whole thing. And what I did is I tied it to the end like you're supposed to, but then I ran the line all the way down to the heavier part. I'm afraid if I got a big fish, this thing would break. So I've got to tie it tied around this, this little loop here, hoping that if I do break on a big fish, that it would still hold there. And I've just got it all the way down to a split shot and a live shrimp. So uh, let's do this out and see what happens. Go snapper on the bamboo pole on our second cast with the bamboo pole. Yes, oh my gosh, it held up great. Small little fish, perfect fish. Of Great success with these little mangroves. These are great tests. We can hopefully get a little bigger fish coming through here in a minute. All right, dude, thank you. There we go. There we go. Another fish. Another fish on the bamboo. Another mangrove. Another mangrove. Come on, dude. It's our third mangrove in a row. Third mangrove in a row. On the little bamboo pole, the five dollar little bamboo pole. Wow, this is fun. It's be a great thing to do with my grandkids. All right, another mango. See you, Bubba. Another mangrove on the bamboo cane pole. Yes, it's working like a charm. All right, we got some footage of the cane pole from third person. Now I want to get it from uh, from here. I'm just tossing. I got about, I guess, about 10 to 12 feet of line on here. I can't get quite to the pilings, but I'm getting close to them. And I've been getting hit pretty hard here. These mangroves are tearing it up. Just like to get a bigger fish to come through here and hit it and see what happens. There we go, there's something. Oh, that's a that's a good fighter. Yes, good fighter right there. Oh yeah, here he comes. On the cane pole. Another little mango. They're all about the same size, about six to eight inches. Oh, there he goes. Alright, buddy. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming to the show, bud. See ya. There he is, got him, got him. There we go, got him. All right, come on, baby, come on up here. Ooh, feels like a little bit better mangrove. There he is. Oh yeah, that's close to keeper right there. That's the best one so far. There we go. Almost keeper mangrove on the cane pole, a little bamboo. Yes. A lot of mangroves here under this bridge. All right, dude. See ya. Oh, you can see I'm wearing a little brace on my left arm. So if you've got fishers, 
fisherman elbow, <laughs> tennis elbow, which I have. Don't reel, use a cane pole. Just kidding, it's not why I'm doing this. But I had some friends reach out, give me some good advice, some, some remedies, so I'm wearing a brace to hopefully help that a little bit. There he is, there he is, okay. Good one, good one, good one. Good mango, just backing up with this bamboo pole. There we go, baby. Yes. I have caught, what have I caught? Probably eight, eight or more already. The last couple have been close to being keepers. This guy's a little better. So if you don't come out here and use a bamboo pole, I found you a good spot though. All right, little buddy, see ya. I've only fished here one time before, long time ago. First moved down here. Got me a nice sheep head in this exact spot actually. I think it's the only thing I caught though. There he is. There he is. It's a good mangrove right there. There we go, good mangrove. There we go, good mangrove. Probably the best mangrove of the day right there. This guy's right at keeper size. Oh, see ya. Mm -hmm. Well, normally I'm in the boat over there. No boat today. Doing some land based. Just left uh, a Tanzas Inlet. Got my cane pole. I'll probably do a little bit more of that here. Uh, my shrimp is dead, so we've got dead shrimp. We got the voodoo. We've got a live pinfish. So let's see what we can get into right here. Here we go. Ooh, there's a bunch of little fish down there. Our first fish here at the Lions Bridge on the cane pole is a lane snapper, but there's a bunch of little fish down there. Saw a bunch of baby lane snapper on the cane pole. See you, dude. Here's a little mango, a little fight to him. Man, this is a, like taking candy from a baby. See you, dude. There's a nice black sea bass. No, that a baby grouper. Whoa, what a great catch on the cane pole. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Oh, this is absolutely awesome. A baby little grouper. A little black grouper. I think there's a black grouper. Look at this. Look at this guy. The little baby grouper on the cane pole. On the cane pole, a grouper. At the Lions Bridge. Doesn't get much better than that, people. All right, little buddy. See ya. All right, I got one dead shrimp left. Chunk him back down, let him drift by the dock. And then I've got some cut ladyfish I'm going to use. We're winding down the evening. I'd like to get one decent sized fish today to go with all those cane pole little fish. We are getting bit back certain, so I'm laying down on the concrete here to stretch it out. Let's see if we can hook up on this. Oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah, just like a pretty good fish. This is definitely the best fish of the day. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have a decent fish here. Last dead shrimp. Is it a redfish? Yep, it's a redfish. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, sir. I'd love to have caught him on the cane pole. Look at that. 
a 16, 17 inch beautiful redfish with our last dead shrimp winding down the evening. Oh, ooh, dude, you almost got me hooked. Come on, I'm letting you go. Oh, that was great. I was stretching my back out, getting some relief on my back. And this guy took the shrimp. And I got some cut ladyfish, so maybe there's some bigger ones out there. Okay. There he is. Land based fishing. See you, Bubba. All right. All right, guys, I'm going home. Thanks for watching this episode of Food Fishing. It's a fun night. A little different. Not any great fish. Finish that nice red fish. But I caught a grouper on a cane pole. How many of you can say you've done that? That pretty sunset away up the clouds. God bless. Have a good night, guys. Please like and subscribe and comment. Really, really helps the channel a lot. Thank you.